Do you want to create some whiteboard videos like this totally for free? Alright, let's see how we can do this. Hello there, welcome into this new video. If you want to find out a free whiteboard automation maker, you are in the right place. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description of this application that I'm going to be showing you today. This one is called the Whiteboard Animation uh, Maker, or uh, maybe you can call it MangoAnimate.com. So in here, uh, once you hit into the link down below, you can choose two options. You can choose to check it out for yourself if it's really worthy or not. You can get a free um, trial mode or you can choose a one-time payment so this option is only available for people who clicked into the link down below i'm pretty sure that if you go into this direct link using your website the platform your browser you're going to be seeing only 99 dollars. so you want to use that link so you can get a great 60 percent discount so you can get this only one time payment of $39. So what we want to do is to choose the download option. We want to uh, we want to choose focus into how does this application work and see if this is really valuable for us. So once you make the download, you want to go into your downloads of your browser, choose the download.exe uh, or DMG depending on the computer you're using. And then what you want to do is to install the application and it's going to be looking like this. So as you can see, we do have a lot of templates that we can use in order to start creating our videos. So uh, if you want to choose, let's say, for example, in a specific template that you like to use, that you'd like to use, for example, let's say I'm going to stick around with this one. It's going to be asking for creating an account. If you don't have an account, you have to choose the no account options. So once you hit in there, you need to provide an email, a passcode, re-enter the passcode and click into sign up. So once you hit in there, you can continue. So once the gesture has been downloaded, now I do have my account in here. So if you are willing to uh, keep working in here, I mean, you are convinced, just hit into the upgrade option. And here you can see that's going to be redirecting us into the store of the manga animated so we can make the one-time purchase. So what I do want to focus, guys, uh, is in here. For example, I'm going to just close this for a second. I'm going to be showing you something really quick. So down in here, we do have the timeline, which is really, really easy to use. It actually do has a template, as you can see, a few elements. So if I hit into play, you're going to see that my elements are being played as we are speaking. So if you want to change something uh, in this template, for example, let's say I'm going to use the first action, for example, this emphasis, I'm going to choose this option and it's going to tell me what is the purpose of this item. So I can edit those, for example, I can change the font, I can change the alignment, or I can even change the shape depending on what kind of a drawing I just choose. But if you think like, for example, let's say that this is too uh, difficult for you or this is not what you were looking for, you don't have to worry about that. We just need to hit into file. And once we are into file, we can go into the new project. And here into the new project, we do have now this uh, scratch, this background. If you don't like that, you can uh, delete it. But in my case, I think I'm going to stick around with that option. And as you can see, we don't have anything in the timeline. So what we need to do is to only choose the um, the actions, the animated stuff, the images, the shapes, the text, the creation, music, everything, you just need to add that here into the timeline. And then we can start uh, doing our own whiteboard videos. So for example, let's say I'm going to be choosing this animal. And as you can see, I just clicked in the, uh, and here my item has been added automatically. So, so here we have the action. So if I clicked in here and I drag this, I can move this into the timeline and see if this, for example, has been uh, with a six second uh, long. So as you can see, this is the entrant effect of the hand drawing. So I kind of like this one, but I think we can do this uh, a little bit more. But if you hit the shift option, it's going to be creating the default size. So if, if I don't use my shift button it's going to be alterating the custom size so you want to use shift and i want to move it like this all right so now that we have this i want to add 
another effect. For example, if you want to use a emphasis effect, for example, of how it's going to be appearing in the video, what is the main action? Let's say, for example, I want to choose the pose like this or the flip or the scale, but I just need to find some clear effect like this. So I want to move everything with this image. So I'm going to be choosing, let's say, the rotate. So here is my animation of the... What I just did is to put in here a check mark. Let's see how it works. All right, so I think it's looking cute. Love it. Kind of like that. If I don't like that, I just need to delete it. It's really, really simple like this. And let's say, for example, that I want to add some text in here. Or I'm going to hit into text. And I'm going to be choosing something like more cues like this. And here it's going to be added my text. So this is my how to. So after that, I'm going to just put in here my mouse outside the text. And I'm going to just resize it like this and put it in here. So if I scroll a little bit before, I'm going to see that here's the movement of my of my of my old file. So right. So once I have successfully done that, here I do have the entrance of this drawing. So in here, if I do have this drawing already created, so what I need to do is to choose this option. I'm going to hit the uh, right button, right click. And here, if I want to add a action, I can choose this option, add action. And I want to swipe this, all right? I want to swipe from one place into another. There we go. So as you can see, it was really, really easy to do this. The last thing that I should need to do is to go into the last part of my video or choose this little uh, blue action and drag that into the final video, into the final part of the video, which is actually this one. If I go into publish, what I can do is to choose this different sizes. So I can strongly recommend that you use the 1080p, the MP, the move, uh, the MP4 format. Choose, of course, the 30 frames per second and the coding seconds you want to leave it like that. If you want to remove the watermark, if you want to have some different video cover, we must have a subscription method. But if not, what we can do is to just simply go into publish and we are actually good to go. I think our work has successfully been done. But if you ask me, guys, um, I think it's going to be really, really much viable if you make the one time fee payment of only $38. I think it's really, really low for what this application has to offer to us, for example. And lastly, guys, let's say, for example, that you don't want to pay for more of that. So you want to resize your video so you can just delete this watermark into your phone or into another video editor. And then this is how we make whiteboards videos totally for free and we didn't have to pay absolutely anything so there you have it guys it was really really simple don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this uh kind of mango anime stuff thank you once again for watching this video guys and i'll see you in the next one